Today's task, mounting the SR20 transmission on the One UZ. As many of you guys know, the engine that we are using in the drift truck, the One UZ, it only ever came with an automatic transmission. And we don't want an automatic transmission for drifting. So I got an adapter plate and a transmission conversion kit. Use this. That's the stock 1UZ transmission, SR20 transmission. You can see the differences. This transmission is a little bit longer. However, it is thankfully the exact same length as the stock transmission. In order to get this transmission onto this engine, which it wasn't supposed to do. We have this stuff. This right here is an adapter plate, which bolts to the back of the engine, and then the transmission bolts to this. A custom flywheel, nice six puck sprung clutch. Since the One UZ wasn't exactly designed to have a manual transmission, we have to do some other stuff for the transmission to fit. We have to grind a little notch in the bell housing of the transmission for the starter, uh, trim the starter bolts, and do some other stuff, but that's what is in store for this video. Let's go ahead and start working on this beast. Can't wait to hear this engine. I honestly don't really know what this engine sounds like. I just know it sounds like a V8 and it's glorious. She's up there. This is kind of a cool sight. Right underneath the shifter, looking at the engine from behind. There's the clutch line. There's the stock little automatic flywheel thing. I don't know. I don't know anything about automatics. All right, shut up. Before we do anything, we have to take this off though. So let's go ahead and do that. You guys are, ooh, oh, oil. Uh, I don't think that's right. I don't, I don't think it's supposed to be like that. Look at how clean this engine is. No leaks. Once this thing is done and running, it's probably gonna be my only car that doesn't leak oil everywhere. So before we proceed with bolting the, uh, the flywheel onto here, we have to trim these guys down up here, these bolts, and then work on the transmission a little bit. That kind of sucks. Should have done that when the engine was out. What if I took the bolt out, then cut it, and put it back in? Ooh, it's hot. Who would have thought? So the starter bolts are in and they have been cut down so the adapter plate can lay flush on this bell housing. I also went ahead and pressed in the um, pilot bearing right here. Last thing we need to do before we can put stuff back onto the engine is cut a notch in the transmission. So we put the adapter plates onto the transmission. They're gonna mark where we need to cut. This flywheel is light. I had to get some new bolts for the flywheel because the new flywheel is much thicker than the stock flywheel. And then I also had to get transmission bolts. It literally took us like two hours, three hours, driving around to like four different aces just to find eight of the right bolts. And I don't even know if they're the right bolts. Transmission bolts. The first ace had two of them. Second ace had four of them and the last eight had another two, where are they? Oh yeah, that looks uh, pretty promising. Put some thread locker on and torque them down. Every single bolt is a 15 besides one. And that one is a 14. Yeah. Cool. They're all torqued. Next step is to put on the adapter plate itself. Well guys, it looks like Gingium's luck has striked again. As you saw there, the last thing I did was bolt on the adapter plate onto the block. Turns out the bolts that came with the kit are the wrong thread 
pitch. These are the bolts that came with the kit. I believe they are M12 by 1.5. The stock transmission bolt is an M12 by 1.25. So it's a, it's a finer pitch. The problem is, well, there's a couple things. Number one is that I only realized this after I cranked down two bolts. So now I have two stripped out bolts in the block of my engine, which I either have to re-tap, put a coil, which we'll call it, or get a new engine, which I wouldn't get a new engine, but either way it sucks because I ruined two of the threads on the engine. The other issue is that I called the company. They, you know, of course said, oh, we didn't mess up. You must have a mistake or something. So I sent them a picture. Once they see the picture, I'll prove to them that it's wrong. That is what happened when I used their bolt. Stripped out the threads. It was really hard to crank down. Should have realized something was wrong before, but I just assumed that the bolts that came with the kit would be correct. And this is the stock transmission bolt that just, you know, goes in nice and, nice and easy. So I'll, I'll show you guys this. As you can tell, the pitches are definitely different. If the company believes me, then they're gonna send out a new bolt kit, but that's still gonna take two to three days. It just really stinks, and I, I hate complaining about companies, but this company, so far, I've not had a single good experience with them. It's just really frustrating, and like, we're trying to get this thing done. I'm already late and behind schedule. Now I'm gonna be even later behind schedule more. I also feel bad because I know you guys just wanna see this truck done, and I wanna see this truck done, and like, the longer I take to finish it, the more people that lose interest and stop watching. And it's just, I don't know, it really sucks. I'm kind of frustrated and in a really bad mood now because of these freaking bolts. Sadly, this was pretty much the only company in the US that had an adapter plates, adapter transmission kit, adapter kit uh, available for the 1UZ. Not very many people like using the 1UZ, so that's why, but. And the good news, once we do get the right bolts and get the uh, threads fixed on the block, it's gonna be awesome. The flywheel and the clutch were all really good. The transmission is gonna fit in here perfectly. It's just things that I can't do anything else now. While I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and cut a bigger hole in the trans tunnel for the shifter. So first thing I have to do is just go ahead and take off the uh, shifter bezel thingy that the truck has. I think this goes to show how nasty the interior of this truck is. It's so gross, but we got that out. Back up you go. The old transmission is about 28 inches bell housing to shifter. The new transmission, 33 inches. So we have to cut five more inches out. Quite a lot of smoking up there. I know a lot of you guys are asking when we're gonna be doing racing seats or something with the interior, because obviously we can't really leave the bench in there for drifting. It would be hilarious, but it'd be terrible. For now, what we're actually going to be doing is we're gonna be putting the old RX-7 seats in there. These bad boys right there. You can kind of see them right there in the background. They are stock seats, but they do have pretty good bolstering. You can use harnesses with them. They're clean, they're stock, and they're free. So we're gonna be using those for a while. Um, I'm excited just to have a, a vehicle with some kind of normal seats, so just a nice normal belt. It's gonna be awesome. Although this is the drift truck, it is also going to be an awesome streetcar, as usual. Oh, and also, I actually found a way to make the oil relocation, the oil filter relocation kit work with these fittings. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this. So now, the oil filter sits up here. We got these lines running down to right there. They come up through the wheel well. It's right here, so our oil filter will unscrew right here. It's gonna be super easy to change the oil filter to check the oil filter. Yet again, the reason why we did this is because the oil filter wouldn't fit in between the, the engine and the frame. And now, it's gonna be easy to take on and off, and it looks cool. Look at that. It sucks that we can't finish the transmission, but all is not lost because tomorrow, at some point, the, uh, the radiator and the radiator fans and all that is going to arrive, so we can work on mounting that 
while the, uh, the correct transmission bolts arrive. Sorry for the short video. I'm sure you guys understand though. It's out of my control. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you all so much for watching. The truck's getting so close. Hopefully we don't have any more issues like this. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So peace out. Bye-bye.